my name is Jennifer from Sea Willow Herbs. This is a video about um, wild foods and wild food recipes. So the first recipe is conifer infused vodka by growforagecookferment.com. This is a great website for info and recipes on foraging, fermenting, cooking, and herbs. This recipe is great for this time of year. What they mean by conifers is Douglas spruce, blue spruce, redwood, and others. Also, it's important to correctly identify your spruces because some trees like you are poisonous. Um, I'm also going to link to a how to identify uh, the conifers for you so that like if you don't know what your tree is you can find out. The second recipe from nittygrittylife.com. Nittygrittylife.com is a really cool little site. Um, it has recipes ranging from canning to herbal remedies and from foraging to bread making. The first one is a medical mushroom hot cocoa. This is made from the mushroom, the red belted polypore, and I may be pronouncing that wrong. I'm not very familiar with this mushroom, um, but I've had medical mushroom hot cocos before and they're really good. I had one with chaga and it was amazing. This is how the Nitty Gritty Life describes this mushroom. Considered a digestive tonic, this mushroom is thought to relieve inflammation of gastrointestinal issues. Red belted polypore is also indicated for immune system stimulation and antihistamine qualities. Some animal model studies have even indicated that this polypore may have some anti-cancer potential. It sounds like a really cool mushroom and there's a lot of information on it. The next website is called Gather. It's run by really two amazing women. And the site says that it's wild food magical cookery. And I have three by them. We have two recipes for foraged fur biscuits a brown sugar foraged for shortbread and a brown butter evergreen shortbread. So I've never made shortbread, but they walk you through all the steps and they look really yummy. The third recipe is tonic syrup. And the recipe that they have on the site is a conifer and wild berry tonic syrup, but the article really walks you through like what's a syrup and how to make it and then she has several um, examples of other syrups that she's made. The different herbs you can put in the syrups and why you would put them in there and the herb, the herbal, the actions of those herbs, the uh, medicinal actions of them. The last um, recipe that I have is lavender infused honey by thepixiepocket.com. The Pixie Pocket is run by Head Pixie and my friend Amber. If you like mead, honey, and herbs rolled up in a bit of magic, you're really gonna like this site. Honey is awesome in itself, but honey is even better when infused with something tasty, so you're just gonna really love lavender honey, and you're gonna love infused honeys, so don't stop with lavender, keep going. All the recipes and all the links will be in the description. So I want to thank everyone for watching. Bye!